EA Sports. It's in the game. Sports. It's in the game. Need to get some help. Hoping you could save me. Save me. Put our pictures on the shelf. So I'm over you. Oh, well. It's not that easy. Been trying to fix the mess, get myself up out of bed, but I'm feeling empty. Maybe I need to try something else, get you out of my head. You can't save me. Waking up in this place all alone, staying up. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It is Juventus versus Barcelona. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're...
in a Champions League final. After all, they've won this competition four times since 2006, Lee. For me, Barcelona, the ethos, the way they play the game, the academy, La Masia, the history, the players they've had playing for them, they're just, for me, the best all-round club in the world. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Blaise Matuidi plays with Miralem Pjanic in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Mario Mandzukic. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Sergio Roberto plays with Jordi Alba in the wide defensive positions. Ivan Rakitic plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. We should have a fine game for you today. And here for you today, Juventus against Barcelona. Very much a club with a tradition, Alan, of playing three central defenders, Juventus. They are, and uh, their success really has been built on that, hasn't it? But those three in question not getting any younger. Can't come to this ground without feeling the sense of history around Juventus, the old lady. And it is brilliant for us from outside to breathe in all that history. Yeah, and the first time I've visited this place and so pleased to be able to come here. Juventus, a famous old club, and this stadium does it justice. Our referee is Lutz Getzoffa. He played in a dead rubber qualifying match here with David Seaman pulling his hamstring the night. And passing with a velvet touch. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Matuidi. And plenty running towards goal. One man to beat. And the penalty has been given here. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick, and how important is this moment with the game level? Well, with a chance to go into the lead from 12 yards of the goalkeeper to beat, I'll take that any day. from the spot we'll see it again here Derek looks easy doesn't it I can tell you it isn't I'm telling you now a bit more analysis as regards the goal And underway, it is advantage Juventus. Well, the coaches here have had their say. Both teams back in position now. We're looking rather tired as we finish regulation time. But they, I'm sure, will be revitalised for the extra period. We're underway. He's got room to hit this. Oh, it's Ronaldo!
Well, that's a goal worth celebrating. A goalkeeper who looked as though he would be able to keep them out the whole game. Well, he's, he's done his part, more than his part, the goalkeeper, but he couldn't keep them out forever. Another angle on it here. It's Juventus in front. By Ronaldo. Italy's old lady has passed the final test. Juventus are the winners of the UEFA Champions League. Well, you have to say, fully deserved as well. All those months of toil, the training sessions, etc. The sacrifice, the commitment, the desire, the hunger. The luck as well, but the application to put all that into a package and then win this brilliant trophy. They do set very high standards for themselves, these Juventus players. But this is something they will remember forever. What a feeling of pride it must give you to be able to say you're part of the team that's the best in Europe League. Well, you know, these players get paid fortunes. Bank accounts are full of money, but it doesn't matter. It's about memories. When you finish your career, you look back at these moments. How many trophies have I won? How many times have I celebrated on a podium with this famous trophy? The buoyant Bianconeri. Juventus. The Champions League victors for 2019. And they... It's good work between these two. Juventus have got the win here. Well, this goes against the conventional football wisdom, doesn't it? To win the game with less players than the opposition fantastic effort it just goes to show if you keep your heads if you reorganize you can still be a force they certainly proved that out here Get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be... And the penalty has been given here. Well, the verdict is a penalty kick. And how important is this moment? And in it goes, as coolly as you like. Never had any doubt from the spot. Matuidi. Tibala! It's with Tibala. Just found wanting in terms of the finish then. Emre Can now. Dybala. A 
And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. And what a magical save it was! the final two minutes of this contest and he did well to get around to the ball yeah I'll give him six out of ten for that save nothing more nothing less